So this is going to be really hard because he's just a, he's still just super nervous. Like all he wants to do is just get home and sit on your lap, right? Because he's in fight and flight state of mind, right? And it's because we talk so goddamn much to him, right? Look, I have, I have dehydrated minnows. These are, I love these when they're in the right state of mind. So it's not that it, it's not about hunger. So, uh, you know, why you're not doing it with the leash on, I'm not sure. If he doesn't want to take treats, then I'm just going to do, I'm just going to handle it, right? So I'm going to handle the pause. And now when he starts mouthing me, what you're doing is letting go. I'm not going to. So he can mouth me all he wants. <laughs> so that's not play biting. He's actually hard biting me. He just broke skin. But I'm not going to let go. So I'm going to put bite gloves on. Okay? Because when he play bites you, play bites, it's it's mild enough and then you stop. So the bite never escalates him. He doesn't need to escalate. I, I, I prolonged it. I didn't let go. And so he escalated. So now I'm going to get bite gloves. Leash. So he can't escape because that's what he'd prefer to do. It's, right? And so if there's no not enough pressure on there, it doesn't... He doesn't ever have to get through what he's feeling. He can just run around and, and escape. So now we're going to go into handling his paws again. And he's going to bite me. And he can bite all he wants because these gloves aren't going to work for him. <clears throat> but I am going to grab his feet. And when it doesn't work anymore, he'll stop doing it. See how it's just stopped? Now I'll release. So when he stops biting, I release. If you stop touching him when he mouths you because you think he's playing, he learns that's effective. And it's not effective. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold it a little longer. go with his other paw. The leash is loose. When he relaxes, I'll loosen the leash. So there's lots of different little rewards, and they are rewards. They are reinforcers. I can relax the leash. I can soften my grip here. Now, so he's now being avoidant, which you see in the other videos with those dogs. They'll turn their head away. So now he's just going to avoid the thing, right? And so now I can look at his paws, He's not challenging me. He's licking his lips. He's not comfortable. But he also just learned why wow, biting didn't work this time. This guy doesn't find my biting cute or playful. Huh, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe I should not do it anymore. And just surrender to the process. And then we can build on that and make it actually positive <clears throat> through either playing with him before and after, uh, counter conditioning with food, Etc. Right, so he's getting away from me over here. So I'll bring him back. He can bite me all he wants. So what we don't want, what unfortunately what you don't want to face and owners don't want to face is that their dog might have aggression. Well, guess what? It's a dog. It's a predator. It's not that he's being aggressive. He's being defensive. And he learned that that behavior works. So we call it play biting. No, he's actually really biting you. He's, dogs aren't an all or none biting, right? So he's, he can control how hard, how long he bites, how deep he bites. So we like to call it play biting. Play biting is when you're actually playing with him and he mouths you and bites you. That's play biting. So, enough on that. So now I just picked this paw up. He didn't try to bite me. That's good. So now we're here. Good job. Uh, so this might seem harsh, might seem cruel, you might not like it, but it builds his resilience because now, so I offered him minnow, he don't want it. So, because now he can get through it without freaking out because nothing bad actually is happening. There's nothing actually painful happening to him. It's all in his head. 
So now I can pick this paw up, no problem. Good job, bud. Good boy. So I'm going to walk him around real quick and reset. Let's go. Probably, I don't know, we'll try it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just even put these here. This is the next level. Oh, and now, with the clippers present, we get back to the same state of mind. <laughs> so, with that, with that response, this was a good little seven, eight minute session. So, I'm not going to push my luck in this session, but I'm going to put them up for a couple hours and then we're going to come out and do this again and then move in towards probably clippers. All right. So he motions to bite me and that's just his habit. You reach someone reaches for my paw, I bite. Oh, and now at least we got some eye contact, not avoidance. So that's nice. Hi bud, good job. Yeah, nothing bad's happening, huh? Nothing bad's happening. Good boy. Good job. I know. Here, I'll try to turn this off. Good boy. Good job, bud. Back paws, I, I don't spend a whole lot of time conditioning because uh, they're much, much easier for dogs, and there's there's reasons for that. Uh, it's the front paws that are... If you get through the front paws, back paws are, should be no problem. Good job, bud. Good job. Oh boy. Good day. He's even walking, pushing into me now, walking forward. That's nice. Good boy. Good boy. He's no longer trembling. He's no longer shaking. Good boy. I'm just handling the paw. Good boy. The problem with like trying to condition paws and, and touch his paws when he's laying on your lap is he knows and you know that's not nothing's gonna happen nothing's going on it's not a focused I need to focus on this and do a job you're just touching his paws it's just affection at that point not a big deal good job bud alright so that's uh that's where we'll end for this session. We'll do two more sessions today, which will be three, and he'll be on his way. I'll probably be able to clip his nails by the Okay, we are round two with nail trimming. <clears throat> oh, let's see how we do. I don't know. Uh, I'm not even trying with treats this time. I'm just going to go into handling and see how we do. Hey, good job, bud. So if he's not going to start biting me, then I'll keep it more brief as a as a form of reward, right? So he's not going into biting, so I don't necessarily want to hold until he bites. But I'll keep it brief to say, hey, nothing bad happening. So it's a, it is a form of counter conditioning even though I'm not using any food or treats with it all right I mean he's still pulling his paw away but there and there now he's not good job bud so now I'll go into like looking at them spreading the toes apart good job bud good boy there we go <clears throat> not bad hi hey Cooper come Come here, bud. Not underneath me. Come here. Yeah, good. Come on. You know, you can't cook the leash, huh, bud? But I can go in here. I don't want him positioning himself under me. There we go. Nice. Good job, bud. Let me see the other one. Yay. Nice to know you, bud. Good job. I'll start going 
pulling them back a little underneath. Good job, bud. Good boy. Now he's not really pulling them away from me. Good boy. All right, good boy. That's a good guy. That's a good guy. Let me see, let me see this one. Yeah, that's a good guy. So there's no pressure on the leash. Now there's a little bit. A little bit. But he's not pulling his paw away from me now. That's a good guy. I got two hands on here. That's a good guy. Yeah. That's a brave guy. Good job, bud. Good job. Good boy. That's a good guy. Now, obviously positioning, that's going to make it difficult. So let's see if I can get him more here with me. And of course, we're closer to the fence sitting here in the shade. All right. Oh, there we go. Good job. Hey, that's a guy. That's a guy. Good boy. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Let me see him. Yeah, let me see these things. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. So now I just am pulling on the nails. Let's see how he does with that. How does he do with the sensation? No clippers, just your hands doing it, right? You gotta take it in stages. <clears throat> Good job, bud. Good boy. Yep, shake it off. I don't know. Good boy. So do a little back leg stuff. Yeah, back legs usually aren't a problem for for dogs once you get through the the front leg stuff. Good job, bud. Nice. Good boy. Yeah, what's that? Huh? It's no big deal, huh? So now I could just take it in stages. Now I'm holding the clippers and I'm going to touch his paw. I don't need to touch the clippers to the paw yet. Right? I have to assume and, and know he he knows I'm holding the clippers now, you know. I'm not trying to hide them either. They're just here, right? So then I can pick up the leg. Think about how, like, like with horses, when they're doing their, their shoes or looking at their hooves, what they do is they'll come in and they'll, they'll touch their, their leg and then they'll, come, they'll slide down and then pick the, pick the foot up. So it's not just, they're not just reaching down and grabbing the foot, right? They're cueing that horse that, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be grabbing your, uh, your hoof. Right, so I'm just I can cue him, good boy, and I can say, hey, I'm gonna be grabbing your paw, right? Now he's a little resistant, but the ang I got a weird angle on him, so I'm gonna try to turn him. <clears throat> good job, bud. Yeah. Hey, good job. Good job. Yeah. So as I'm doing this, I'm also kind of counting in my head how long is he letting me hold it. Uh, before he starts getting fidgety, you know, I need about a good 30 seconds to be able to, uh, trim the nails, you know, so he got fidgety right there. It's probably 15 seconds. Um, and then, you know, does, how, what type of height is he tolerating? You know, it's one thing to just hold it right here, but it's another thing to start bringing it up and looking at it, right? So there is a lot of variables involved. Good job, bud. Good job. Good job. So I might just make a motion now. I'm going to see how he handles even me just coming in and... Yeah, good job. Just touching, the, touching his paw with the, with the clippers. You know, how's he do with that, right? I'm not going to snip anything yet, but just how's he do? Good job, bud. How's he do with that? Just touching... Just touching it. Yeah, good job, bud. You got flies all over. We got flies going, huh, bud? Let me see this one. Yeah. And then less and less will I allow that fidgeting to kind of make make it stop. And I can remove one thing that's adding pressure. I could take these away. And then de that alone will decrease his resistance and his pressure, right? So, good job, bud. But he hasn't tried to bite me at all. 
this round. So that's good. It's really good. Yeah. Good job, bud. Let's see. Let's see. Good. So I just trimmed the tip of one. No problem. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Just the tip, right? The other, the other place where we go wrong is we spend all this time working through these things of conditioning and rewarding and all of these things in order to get them to the point where they're okay having a nail trim and then we we still in the back of our human brains are, are saying I gotta trim as much as possible so I don't have to do this again because we don't want to do it we don't want to do it because it's hard right and it's hard for him it's hard for us and it's a battle and we don't want to do it so we're in our head we're we want to take as much as possible and then we end up screwing it up because we take too much one time and the more you take even if you don't make it bleed it's gonna hurt it's gonna be more uncomfortable so it's better early on to say you know what I get to do this not I don't want to trim his nail not I have to trim his nail I get to trim his nails and it's gonna help us bond and it's gonna help him grow so I get to which means if I'm just taking the tips off every session I'm gonna do it probably once a week at least right I might I might just do a couple every day no big deal right let me just come in and we just might do a couple every day so that's two good boy good job dude come here right. so good job so his reward now is I'm gonna cut him loose and he can go have some yard time and do whatever he needs to do and let it out right so I just trimmed two of his nails no big deal I probably took off just the pointy part just the tip they're not short by any means but we get to do it again later today right so then I'll clip two more I'll probably work on the front ones our next session here in uh, a couple hours good job bud Cooper come on come here bud now we can share in some celebration and little love yeah that's a good boy come here come on he's gonna go get in his in his water bucket Hey bud, good boy. You did good. You did good. Yeah. So there you go. We got two of them trimmed. No gloves. No treats. No bribing. No fighting. Alrighty, here we go with uh, nail session three with your boy Cooper. Hi, it's you. Yeah. So I'm not gonna just jump in right away with clippers. Right, I'm gonna see where we gotta see where he is with things. Uh, right, I'm not just gonna assume that because progress is not linear. I'm not just gonna assume that like okay, we I trimmed two back ones, so I should be able to trim two more back ones, right? So I can just go through and remind him like, hey, nothing bad's gonna happen, All right? Hey, there we go. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Cool. He's a little nervous. He gave a, gave a, a lip lick, so he still doesn't. He doesn't like it, right? Three of, I'd say, yeah, three of my dogs, I would say, like nail trims. <clears throat> but, or they, they tolerate it really, really well, and it's a good experience for them. Two of them, uh, it's, they, not so much. They don't really like it. They tolerate it, okay? So, hey, bud. Good. <clears throat> there, that was nice. That was very, very compliant, very soft. He did not resist me picking it up at all. That's awesome. Good job, bud. Good job. Good job, Coop. Yeah, good boy. All right. That was super good. So, um, I just been running around the house, so I just got a feeding dog, so I've got to make sure that I'm as calm as possible, confident as possible, and relaxed. Good job, dude. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Let me see this ball. All right, yeah. Right? So... There we go. Yeah. So I'm able to look at each toe, right? He's not pulling away from me. It's fantastic. I don't know if that's showing up. Yep, it is. It's showing up on the camera. So um, let me adjust this camera a little bit for you because I realize we're not really getting him in the frame. There we go. That should be better. Okay. Yeah, here we go. That's better. Come here, bud. Okay. So, uh... So now what I could do with the leash is just kind of secure it around my leg. 
All right, so that I don't, I'm not necessarily stepping on it, but it's there. Come here, bud. All right, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Mm -mm. Nope. So we're not going to stop, but I'll take the, cli the clippers away if he starts to pull like that. Okay. We're not stopping. Right. I'll just... All right. I understand you're not comfortable with it. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. There's one. That was a nice little chunk, too. I got a little bit more than just the tip of it. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. All right. So when you take him to the groomer... They are not doing this. They are not trimming one and then taking a breather, telling him good boy, stroking him up. They are not doing that. I promise you they don't have time to. Uh, it's restraining and whatever they need to do to get it done. All right. Good job. All right. We'll do it again. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Uh-uh. All right. So now I'm just going to hold. I'm very passive right now. Just going to hold till he settles into me. Holding. Right? Because he's not... Now he's not trusting if I move forward. Like, I don't like... I don't like that. So, uh, we'll go back. So it's... It's a it's couple steps forward, couple steps back. Couple steps forward, couple steps back. Right? And then when the time is right and I feel it... Good boy! Now we get another one. Good job, bud. Yeah, good boy! Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to give me this one? No? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to take a breather. So I've clipped four nails today. I'm going to go for one more. That's it. I just want to get one more. And I'll call it good. Huh, bud? That's a good day because you can work on it or he can come next week and I'll get four or five more, and over the course of weeks, he's going to have a full nail trim. Good job, bud. Good boy. All right. So, let me see about the other, the far side leg. Let's see if we can get this one. Let's see if we can get a couple on this one. Good job, bud. Good boy. Uh-uh. Good boy. Yeah. Good job. Good boy. <clears throat> All right, so he's resisting a lot, so I'm just going to take the pressure down, but we're not we're not stopping necessarily, right? <clears throat> I want to find a place where he he gets back into a more of an acceptance that I'm holding the paw um, versus going into retreat and battling, right? So he's going retreat battle. So let's see if I can just nope. And there is another position that I can get him in. Yeah, that's good. All right, that works, bud. So I'll tilt his paw back. And good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I'm not a fan of the back tilt to trim him. I know that, that uh, groomers do that a lot I, because they say they can see the quick better. I, I don't like doing it that way, um, but I can. Good job, bud. Good boy, I know. Yeah. Hey, it's almost time to go home, huh? Come on. You want to come up? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay, good boy. Good boy, come on. All right. You got to feel good during this process, right? Because there's moments where it doesn't feel good. <clears throat> there's parts of a human being getting a pedicure that are not comfortable or, or enjoyable. Good job, bud. Good boy. All right. So we're gonna do we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it because he's doing good. I'm gonna push it. We're gonna get one more. I gotta get his foot. There we go. Uh -uh. Here, let me move him around. I want to get that front left. There we go. There we go. Good. Uh-uh. All right. Uh-uh. We're not mouthing me anymore. Nope. We're not doing that. All right. So he's. So if he wants to let me do this one, 
then we'll do this one. Hey, uh -uh. There we go. Come on, bud. All right. We'll take it easy for a second. I am going to get one more, bud. I got, I would, I won't count that one. I got a little bit knocked off of that one, but I'm not going to fully count it. Good. There we go. Good job, bud. Good boy. I don't know how many I trimmed today. Six, I think. Two. And I just did four, six nails. Not too bad. Six out of eight. Good job, bud. Good boy. Good boy. Not bad. All right. Come here, bud. And I'll cut him loose. All right, here we go. And free. There you go. All righty. All in a day's work.